Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on turning moment diagrams and flywheel. In this video, I will tell you some simple tricks that how to solve a problem by using some basic formulas instead of using complicated formulas. So first, I will read what is the given problem. The mass of flywheel of an engine is 6.5 tons and the radius of gyration is 1.8 meters. It is found from the turning moment diagram that the fluctuation of energy is 56 kN meter. If the mean speed of engine is 120 rpm, find the maximum and minimum speeds. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the given data. So here mass is given in tons. So, so we have to convert it into standard unit in kilogram. That is 6.5 into 1000 kilogram. Then the radius of gyration 1.8 meter. Then here the fluctuation in energy is given. That is 56 kilo newton meter. So standard unit is newton meter. So we will say that 56 into 10 raised to 3 newton meter. Then N, that is the mean speed is, we will consider here as N 120 RPM. So how we can say this mean speed? Suppose we will consider here the N1 as a maximum speed and N2 as a minimum speed. Then we can write this mean speed is equal to N1 plus N2 divided by 2. So now, the question is that we have to calculate what is the maximum speed that is N1 and what is the minimum speed that is N2. So this we have to find out. So if we observe the given data here the fluctuation of energy is given 56 into 10 raised to 3 Newton meter. So instead of writing the complicated formula we will start from the simple formula. So what is this fluctuation of energy? So maximum fluctuation of energy that we have to write that is maximum kinetic energy minus minimum kinetic energy. So this kinetic energy is of the flywheel because the flywheel is rotating. So what is the formula for kinetic energy? So in case of linear motion kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. So we know that Ke is equal to half m v square. But here the flywheel is rotating. So how we can write this? So instead of I, m we have to write that is for rotational kinetic energy. We have to write I and here v that is for linear velocity we have to use omega that is the angular velocity that is omega square. So this is the formula half I omega square is the formula for the rotational kinetic energy. So here mag for maximum K and minimum K that is maximum kinetic energy and minimum kinetic energy here this rotational velocity or the angular velocity that we have to use maximum angular velocity and minimum angular velocity because here I will remain same that is this I is used, that is mass moment of inertia of this flywheel is used instead of M. So we know that this mass will remain constant. So here omega 1 and omega 2. So how we can write here? So if we write here formula half I omega 1 square minus half I omega 2 square. So half I is constant. So we have to take co common and here in the bracket omega 1 square minus omega 2 square. So this is the formula in the form of a square minus b square. So how we can write this a square minus b square? That is a plus b in the second bracket a minus b. So in the same way we have to write here omega 1 plus omega 2, omega 1 minus omega 2. So we know that what is the mean speed? So mean speed is n is equal to n1 plus n2 by 2. So this mean speed is nothing but we can calculate this from this uh, angular velocity. So in the same way angular velocity omega is because omega is getting calculated from this by using this n. So omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60. So where 2 pi by 60 is the common term. 
So in the same way we can write here as this omega, I will write here omega is equal to omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2. So here this omega 1 plus omega 2 and divided by 2. So we will take here instead of this as a omega. So this formula will I omega omega 1 minus omega 2. So this is the simple form of formula. So instead of remembering the complicated formulas or using the complicated formulas in the exam, we have to understand these basic things and we have to write this simple formula. So now if we observe the given data I, we can calculate. So what is the mass moment of inertia of the flywheel that is mk square. Then this maximum fluctuation of energy delta E is given. 56 into 10 raised to 3, i is mk square, then omega is nothing but 2 pi n by 60. So here 2 pi 120 by 60, then omega 1 that is 2 pi n 1 by 60 minus 2 pi n 2 by 60. So if we observe, we can take here 2 pi by 60 as a common. So in the bracket, there is only n 1 minus n 2. So if we put all the values, then we can solve this. So here 56 into 10 raised to 3 which is equal to 27,715 in the bracket n1 minus n2 because this n1 minus n2 is the unknown term. So n1 minus n2 is equal to 2 rpm and here if we observe n is given that is n1 plus n2 by 2 is equal to n. So we can say that n1 plus n2 is equal to 240 rpm. So we will consider this is as equation 1, this is as equation 2. So if we solve this, so how to solve? So simply we will add this equation number 1 and 2. So this n2 n2 is getting cancelled. So n1 plus n1 that is 2 n1 is equal to 2 plus 240 that is 2 n1 is equal to 242. So we can say that n1 is equal to 121 rpm. And if I put here 121 minus n2 is equal to 2 rpm then n2 is equal to 119 rpm. So this is the answer.